This is some Muslims are, we're eat up with it. This is what we think about all the time. I wake up in the morning, first thing I wake up, I'm like, oh, Allah. Maybe that's not the best way, but that's the first word out of my mouth. Huh? And when I get in the car, I say, Allah. When I get out, Allah. Even when I'm complaining, Allah. I'm not complaining to anybody but Him. Yeah? It's because that's all we think about. Allah, 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 Allah. We know who created us. We know who's going to judge us on the day of judgment, and we know what we want. We want to be with Him in the next life. If this is your goal, you're not a Hindu anymore. You're not a Christian anymore. Because these are names that people came up with. Jesus never said, I'm a Christian. He never said, be a Christian. Moses never said, I'm a Jew, be a Jew. In fact, he wasn't from the tribe of Judah anyway. You follow me? Confucius didn't tell the people, be Confucianists. Did he? No. Be you. Be yourself. And be right with him, and you're already on the right path. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? You got me? Okay, the next part. When you look at what some Muslims do, if you look at what some Christians do, if you look at what some Hindus do, do you blame the religion or the person? If you see two trucks smashed together, or a bus and a car smashed together, do you blame the people that made the car, or do you blame the people driving it? It makes sense. It makes clear sense. Don't blame a beautiful religion for the acts of some people. And by the way, also, don't listen to everything you hear, because not everybody's telling the truth. Is that right? Yeah. But your question gave me a great chance to bring out these points in case, that, in case that I didn't make it clear before, I'll make it clear now. Anybody who really believes there's one God and they really want to do the right way, they're already in the, the right way with Him. And it's not for me to judge you. I can't do that. You could fool me and pretend to be a Muslim and I wouldn't know, would I? I wouldn't know. Or you could fool me and pretend you're not a Muslim, and I still wouldn't know. But would he know? Would he? Yeah, he'd know. He'd know. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, gave us the best clue about the condition of a real believer. Because he said that a baby is born on this condition. Every baby, your children, my children, every child that was born, when you were born, you were born on the fitra of Islam. You were already in the right way. That's what Islam teaches us. Any baby that dies, Islam said they go to paradise. No other religion teaches that. Islam teaches it because it's the truth. Babies are innocent, yes or no? Yes. So therefore, the condition of a baby is the condition Muslims are supposed to be working toward. And by the way, do we have any Christians? Raise your hand if you're Christian. Any Christians? Please, raise your hand. Any? At all? Oh, there we go. Did Jesus say, suffer the children to come unto me, for such is the kingdom of heaven? What do you think he meant? He was negating the statement about everybody being born in sin. He was saying, babies are innocent. That's the way it is in heaven. And anybody that said, babies are guilty of what their fathers did, this is a wacko, a sicko. Babies are innocent. And I don't care what anybody says. It's, I've got grandchildren, I've got a great grandchild, and when I hold them in my arms, there isn't any sin there. There's no sin, that's beautiful. You're, that's as close as you'll ever get to an angel is when you hold that little baby. Am I right or wrong? I love them babies. And I don't care whose baby it is. And Allah doesn't either. Because Allah is not punishing a child for the religion of the parents or the foolishness of the parents. Allah is not like that. So if you really want to know what's Islam, think about that little baby next time. Your child or your grandchild. Look at him and say, that's Islam. This is real Islam. Thank you for a good question. Yes, we do thank you for the question. Sister, inshallah, could you please state your name and occupation and then briefly state your question? Assalamu alaikum, brother. This question is from a non-Muslim brother. He wants to know what fault is it of his that he was not born to Muslim parents and those who are born to Muslim parents are more privileged than him. 
whereas he has no access to the religion as much as they have. And can he be blamed for following uh, his religion, that is, for being a non-Muslim and dying as a non-Muslim? That's a good question. I'm wondering why that the, he didn't ask himself, but it's okay. Just so that you get an idea, Allah creates what he wants the way he wants. And he puts everybody in a different condition. And every one of us is in a test. You're in a test. I'm in a test. All of us are in a test. I also was not born as a Muslim in a Muslim family. But I was born as a Muslim in the sense that I explained earlier. Everybody was born as a Muslim in the sense that you get a chance from the beginning. But it's the parents that raise them up to become something other than a Muslim. True? Yeah. But that's a part of the test. But by the way, just because your parents claim to be Muslims from India or Sri Lanka or Saudi Arabia doesn't mean they follow Islam, does it? You know that. I know that. There are plenty of people with the name Muhammad, Sarah, Abdullah, Walid, Isa, Yusuf, and yet the name doesn't really save them. Many of these people walking around claiming to be Muslim are sometimes doing worse even than so-called non-Muslim. Yeah? But all of this is the test. And each of us were born in a condition Allah wants us in. It's up to you, it's up to him to decide what you want. And if he said he understands that there's only one God, but he's going to use this as his excuse, he just blew the test. But if he understands there's one God, it doesn't matter who his parents are. It doesn't matter what he grew up around. And it doesn't matter where he is right now. He can get out of his condition simply by saying the shahada. Ashadu la ilaha illallah. Ashadu Muhammad Rasulullah. And Allah will fix all of his problems. Is he here? Is that person is here? Huh? Oh, okay. If somebody is here right now and understood what I said, that'll cure your problem. That'll fix you up. Just say it. Do it. Make sense? Okay.